Welcome to another video. Let's try to differentiate this function. It is the product of four different functions. So we know that whenever we have the product of functions, to do differentiation, we must use the product rule. However, in most cases, whenever we have a product, it's always the product of two functions. So when you now have the product of four functions like we have here, it becomes a little bit daunting, especially if you're just starting calculus differentiation. So, let's get into the video. What I'm going to do is make an attempt at establishing what you should do anytime you see the product of functions. If it is more than two or three or four, this is what we do. You see, let, let's do this. Let's have a function f of x and let, let it be the product of f, g, h, I'm going to say k. So we have four functions and we want to take the derivative, we want to find f prime of x. So like you see here, this could be our f, this would be g, this is h, and this is k. So remember the product rule says that whenever you have the product of two functions, you differentiate the first, you keep the second, then you keep the first, you differentiate the second. We're going to try and do that here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat all of these as a single function the first time. So I'm going to, oh, I can use f. Let me call this y. So let's say this is y, and then we're looking for y prime. Okay, let's use this notation. Now, so I'm going to have the derivative of the first, f prime, multiplied by the second, I keep the second, ghk, plus I'm going to keep the first, and then I will multiply by the derivative of the second, ghk prime. I don't have anything to do here anymore. This is the only one that looks complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of this. You see this, if we go straight down, is the same thing as you have f times. Now if we want to differentiate this, we're going to now do the same thing we just did here. We're going to differentiate the first and keep the second plus keep the first, differentiate the second. So in here, we're going to have the derivative of g, g prime, times we keep the second, hk, plus we're going to keep the first and differentiate the second. If we differentiate the second, it's going to be hk prime. So now we're done with this, but we still need to differentiate this. So we can go in here and do plus here again. This is g times this one, so it's going to be g times, we have a parenthesis again. We're going to differentiate the first and keep the second plus keep the first and differentiate the second, k prime. Okay, it looks like we finally come to the end of it. So let's go back to the beginning and write everything in full. This is going to be equal to, let's start from here. If I distribute this g, I'm going to have plus, so I have g h prime k plus g h k prime. Okay, all of this will be added to g prime h k. I just brought this down all the way here so that this is multiplied by f plus what is here? I have, oh, I have f prime g h k. Okay, that's what I have. Now I can distribute everything and see what happens. I just need to distribute this f. I already distributed this g. So I distribute this f now. I have f prime g h k plus f g prime h k plus f g h prime k plus this goes there it becomes f g 
h k prime. That is y prime. Now, look at what we have. Differentiate the first, keep everything else. Now, keep everything else, but differentiate the second. Now, keep everything else, differentiate the third. Then, keep everything else, differentiate the last one. So, the, dif the, different, the derivative is just moving from the first to the second to the third to the fourth. That's how you differentiate a product. So, we can go here and use this rule now. I know that f prime of x in this case will be, I'm going to differentiate the first, it's going to be 3x squared. And I'll keep everything else e to the x sine x ln of x. That's the first step. Plus, I am going to now keep this, differentiate this. So it's going to be x cubed. If I differentiate this, I'm going to get e to the x. I have sine x ln of x. And then the third step will be to differentiate this one. So I'm going to keep everything else x cubed e to the x, but I'm going to have cosine x. I'll keep ln x. And finally, I'll keep everything else and differentiate this. It's going to be x cubed e to the x sine x, and then this would be 1 over x. But this 1 over x will multiply this so that what I have left will be x squared. So I'm going to cancel this, make this squared, and I'm going to delete this. And that's our answer. Now, should, do you want to factor something out? Yes, we can factor out what is common to everything x squared and e to the x is common to everything and so I may say because this appears to be longer I have f prime of x will be equal to if I factor out x squared and e to the x I'm going to get x squared e to the x inside I'm going to have 3 sine x ln x I'm going to have 3 sine x ln x. And then here I'm going to have x sine x ln x plus x sine x ln x. And here I'm going to have x cos x ln x plus x cos x ln x. And finally, if I take these two out, I'm going to have plus sine x, plus sine x. And this is the derivative of this function. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.